I'm Doug Caldwell, University of Florida, Collier County Extension. I'm a landscape entomologist, sometimes called Dr. Doug Bug. It's mid-February in Naples, Florida, and we're looking at a rust disease that is attacking our senna trees. The senna is a small bush tree that grows 15 to 25 feet. It flowers profusely, has a long bloom, and that's one reason people like it so much. A common name for this senna tree is Glaucus cassia. Its scientific name is Senna suratensis. I like to call it the yellow blowover tree, but more on that later. As we look in the canopy, we see there's a lot of foliage missing. It's not unusual during the winter to lose some leaves. These trees don't like cold weather. This year, November, December 2012, we had a drastic loss of leaves. 100% of the canopy defoliated. The first symptom you'll notice with this disease is leaf drop followed by leaf spotting, small leaf spots to large leaf spots. It progresses to the apical meristem and you have twig dieback. Plant pathologists think this brown rust disease is caused by a species of Ravnelia, which is a fungus. We have a really nice example here of the fruiting bodies of the brown rust disease. These fruiting bodies are at what we call the erumpent stage where they're just protruding through the leaf surface and releasing spores. This is what's causing the stem dieback as well as the leaf drop. The reason I call this the blowover tree is even if it's properly staked, it has a very shallow root system with a strong wind, over it goes. When you support these plants, you've got to check these wires and ropes and stakes frequently. This newly planted tree is already starting to be girdled by the twine. The twine that was put there in place to hold it up and to keep it alive is actually going to end up killing it if you don't adjust it. So check that hardware monthly almost with these fast growing shrub trees. One of the things you should do, especially when the trees are young and the root system hasn't anchored in, is to thin the canopy periodically. Maybe cut it out so it's half as much as it was. Once the tree gets to be five, six inches trunk diameter, it's pretty well established. What to do? Since this disease has a foothold already and we have new growth popping out, just wait it out. Remember, fungicides are not a cure. The best results are obtained when fungicides are used as a preventive measure. Repeated applications starting when the symptoms first appear and using such fungicides as Banner, Balaton, Heritage, or Pageant should suppress the disease. Today we learned about another late season fungal disease. This time it's called brown rust disease on senna's. You can either take the approach of doing nothing or start a fungicide application program when those early symptoms first show up, say in November. And don't forget to loosen the hardware. That means ropes, hoses, wire, cable, and supporting poles and posts. Otherwise, you can see what happens. You can end up girdling and killing that tree. This is Doug Caldwell helping you to beautify your landscape and protect the environment.